In 1987, reports of a Nile crocodile killing people from Lake Tanganyika in the Ruzizi River in Burundi began to emerge. However, this was no ordinary crocodile. It was 20 feet in length, over a ton in mass, and 100 years old. Gunfire couldn't even stop this beast. This one crocodile became responsible for 300 deaths. This is the story of Gustave the Killer Crocodile. Ports of Gustave started as early as 1987 with constant attacks from what people said was one Nile crocodile. This Nile crocodile was said to be large and instantly recognizable. He was said to have a technique of splashing water at fishermen with his tail, making them fall off the canoes or draft boats they were standing on to make a meal of them. He is said to be bulletproof too, with some soldiers even saying he will eat the bullets fired at him. Supposedly, he migrates in and out of Lake Tanganyika and when he moves away from the villages he hunts, the killings would stop. This makes more people believe this was the crocodile causing the deaths. By 1998, a French